Wolves. Welcome back to Wolf News. So great to finally be back, Tyler. Yeah, it is. And did you hear about our national champion wrestler? No, I didn't. But I did hear we had an interview with Mr. Milbrandt with him. Yeah, and here's that, Wolves. Good morning, Chandler High School. Greg Milbrandt, your principal. I have with me a very special guest, Travis Cardenas, one of our sophomores here at Chandler High that uh, did something incredible this year. Uh, first off, let's, let's go back to last summer. What did you do, Travis, uh, and what did you compete in the UWW? Uh, I competed in the UWW Nationals in Las Vegas, and I took first in the 62 kilogram, in the kilogram bracket, which is about 136 pounds. So a national champion right here in front of us. And then also at Fargo, you went to Fargo and competed in the, uh, is that the high school nationals? Yeah. How'd you do there? Uh, I took fifth place. Fifth place, awesome. Yeah. And then he comes back to Arizona and, and uh, what was your record this year in Arizona? Uh, it was 36 and four. 36 and four, and uh, that's incredible. And then you got into the uh, state championships and uh, how did you do in, the, in your matches leading up to the championship? Um, up until the finals, I pinned everyone. And then in the finals, I won five to zero. Five zero, very cool. That's awesome, congratulations. So we have a state champion right here in front of us. Um, and tell, tell me who your coaches are, because we want to give them credit as well. My coaches are Coach Owen, Coach Mejia, Coach Fujimori, and Coach Rosales. And one thing about Coach Mejia, who you know as a staff member here on our campus, uh, he is also was also named to the National Coaches Hall of Fame. So we have a couple of celebrities here on our campus. So congratulations to him as well. But uh, Travis, we're very proud of you. Great job this year. And you're only a sophomore, so we're looking to maybe another couple more championships, right? Hopefully. Outstanding. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. You know, Dom, it's been a while since we've been anchors. But we're back, and we're better. You know what makes you feel pretty good, Dom? Giving back. Me too. Isn't there a blood drive where you could do just that? Yeah, and here's some info on that. Hey, Wolves. Here's some more information on the upcoming blood drive on April 30th. If you are 16 or older and have permission from your guardians, then you're eligible to donate. Permission forms can be found outside of room 607. Donating blood is an extremely helpful thing you can do for your community, and it also counts as community service hours. So if you're in National Honor Society or just want something to put on your application for college, then this is a great opportunity to not only help those in need, but improve your future. If you want to know what's even cooler than that, flying drones and making video games. We can fly drones and make video games at Chandler? Yeah. We have a whole class for it. We even have a video for it. Let's see the footage. Hello, my name is Mr. Vorge. I teach Harry Chandler High. I teach the drones and aviation, classes one and two. This class is in the second year of the program. We're looking for students that have any type of interest in joining aviation, whether it be mid aviation or automated aviation through drone operations. This class deals a lot of uh, with the environment of aviation and aircraft with a specialization and focus on drone operations. In drone operations, you are able to achieve Part 107 credential, which allows you to go fly commercially. Commercial aid means that you can get paid to fly drones. After you receive that certification, you're able to go out into the public, set up a business, go freelance, any type of things of that nature. But and actually charge people and make money while a student at, in high school. This is something that you can do that gives you a, a skill set beyond just what you can learn in high school as a diploma. So if it's something you want to do as a side hustle, it's something that you want to do in conjunction with Porter College, it's something that you would like to do just for fun. Uh, it gives you that opportunity to do that while making income. You know, the one thing that sucks about graduating is I won't have much time to play video games anymore. <laughs> sucks for you, Unc. I got all the time in the world to train for next year's Super Smash Bros. tournament. Yeah, while you train, we got some footage from this year's. Hey, Wolves. FBLA is hosting the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament on April 27th. High school students start playing from noon until 4. It costs $15 to enter as a competitor and 7 to enter as a spectator. The tournament will be played in the CTE Building Lecture Hall. Room 17. There will of course be prizes for first, second, and third place winners. Scan the QR code to buy your tickets. 
We hope to see you there. Great smashing gamers. You know, Dom, we're in the same building as FFA, but I have no idea what they're doing. You know, I think they got a sheet behind the gate right next to our building, and I think they brought him in. That guy? Yeah. Here's our own Camille to show you. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Not Keep It Real with Camille, but we're doing a real story on, you know, FFA. Follow me, follow me. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm Tamaya. I'm Katie. I'm Shirlene. And I'm Ben. And I'm Ben. Tell me what animal do you have? I have chickens. Did you get to choose the chicken, or did you... Yeah, so we have like a bunch that we grow all at the same time, and then uh, you put your hours in and you check on them, and then the people with the most hours get to pick their chickens, and then so it kind of like works out. So the amount of work you do, you get the better chickens. And then what about you? Okay, I have a sheep. Yeah, and that's it. Just <laughs> that's just a sheep. I also have a pig. Last year at the county fair, all of our animals here on campus sold for over a hundred and ten thousand dollars, and all of that money goes to us. So not the program, not the school. All of it goes to us. Your money. You get to keep this money. It's all for you. And you're not giving it to nobody else. It's just like, that's just what it is. Get you a second job. Well, can you guys come show me around? Just you kind of stank a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at you. You are so cute. Ah! Oh, my God. And what's his name? His name is Atticus. Do you get to put a price on him? or? Is so at the auction, you know, everyone's placing their bids and everything. And I paid 750 for him. And then for an estimation about how much I can sell him for is like two thousand five hundred to like three thousand dollars. No, no, Atticus, you, you are so. Oh my, Samaya. Samaya, well, you guys come get you one of these. This is one of our broiler chickens, uh, Wilson. Yeah. So they have little bracelets so that have numbers. So I know I'm number seventy-eight, seventy-nine, and seventy-seven. What would you say the hardest thing about taking care of a chicken will be? It's probably just making sure that they're all healthy and they're all getting what they need, and that nobody's getting like forgotten. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I can sell him a thousand and two hundred, but they also do add-ons and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. And you guys just get used to the smell? My cord! It's the cord. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this is my pig, Willa. I'm for about three thousand dollars at the fair. Three thousand dollars, and you chose this pig to take care of this pig. You had her since she was a baby. Isn't it sad that if you sell her, like, aren't you like attached? You know? I mean, it's just part of how it works. You. You buy the animal to sell it at first. So we know that going into it. Your favorite part about being an FFA? I just like all my friends. Like we have a really good relationships and I just have a great time. Cause like, even when we're like working on stuff you have to do like chores, it's fun. Cause your friends are there. Um, FFA isn't only about like agriculture. We actually have like state level events where we compete and stuff. Uh, well, you heard it here y'all. Join some FFA, G get you an animal, get you some money. There's a fly on my face. Did you see that? Oh no. But here is where we take them out for exercise and things. We practice showmanship in there. Showmanship is like how well you can work with your animal. And we go to competitions and shows and Maricopa County Fair to see how well you can handle your animal. Thank you guys so oh, much wow. again. This was lovely. Thank you for taking the time to come out. So the video just cut out. I don't know what happened, but um, thank you FFA for giving us a chance to tour around and you know explore all the amazing animals and all the wonderful things you guys do. Shout out to you guys. Hi, my name is Mrs. White and I'm the dance director here at Chandler High School and I've been teaching at Chandler for five years but I've been teaching dance for over 15 years. Dance is everything to me. I love how it inspires people, it changes lives. I love how each dance concert is like a coming together of family. The preparation for it, I love when the kids get together and they're warming up. It's just ultimately a really great experience, especially our spring concert. The way we honor our seniors, it's it's very bittersweet moment here in the dance uh, department. ODAS auditions are coming up May 13th through 16th, so keep an eye on Chandler underscore dance Instagram for more information, and you can always visit us in the dance studio in the CCA. All right, Wolves, so that's our show this week. It was great to see you guys again. Goodbye.